everyone, I am Irem Tisneem, welcome to Creative Coloring with Irem. Today we will be doing no line watercoloring using 36 pan watercolor set by Altenew. The stamp set that I will be using today is the beautiful wallpaper art stamp set. I have already stamped one flower from this set in antique linen distress ink and also a few leaves but I'll get to that later. The watercoloring that I am doing today is not very detailed but uh, the end result is really pretty and subtle. Our flowers are going to be light and airy, soft looking and the leaves are going to be bold. I'll start by applying water to one petal and then a very light pigment of cotton candy watercolor. I'll keep this um, uh, color concentrated where the petal connects to the base and lighter on the tip of the petal. If you feel overwhelmed by no line water coloring, this video is for you because this is not very technical and easy to follow. I'll suggest you mute the video, slow down the speed. Um, the option is available in the settings and paint with me following my moves. So the first uh, wash is cotton candy for almost all the petals. Just a couple of petals um, I chose to start with a diluted wash of puffy heart watercolor just to add a bit of variation. Sometimes when you are using just one color for a flower, you can also use uh, close shades of that color so that um, it adds a bit of interest and it's not necessary, but I've noticed that it looks really nice in the end. You will see that I'm working on alternate petals and because I'm a bit impatient, I will also be using my heat gun um, a lot to dry the layers so that I can work on the next petal right away. To add depth, I will also use purple wine and cosmic berry. Also notice that I am keeping the color intensity light on the tip of the petal. It's almost like it's not there. When you are not adding a lot of detail to the petals or if you are unsure of your no line water coloring, this will be really helpful in achieving a good result. So in short, start light as a light color wash. Add more color pigment closer to the base of the petal. Less intensity of pigment on the tip of the petal. Use heat gun to dry between adding layers of color for a faster coloring process. Use a variation of close shades for interest. Once I'm done coloring majority of the petals, I'll go back in to add a darker pigment. This is just to add an illusion of depth and shadow, just so that the flower doesn't look very plain as in, um, on, of one level. We are doing this in order to add a bit of four dimension. You can totally stop at this point too if you are a bit apprehensive about adding darker pigment. But if you are, want to take that next step, uh, then please, by all means, do add that dark pigment. And um, you can always start again. This is not very difficult. And with practice, you will become better. I got so many emails on my last no-line uh, coloring project that I have... Um, sorry that i make uh, it look easy and how it actually isn't and uh, um you're right you're absolutely right it is a bit overwhelming i mess up too a lot actually so this is why i'm sharing this video today to uh, show you how to do a relatively easy and no line water coloring and i will include the entire coloring session so you can follow from start to finish I'll have it uh, sped up, obviously, um, but please, you can always change the speed and slow it down and color with me. I'll leave you with some music. I'll be back when, the, uh, when I'll be coloring the flower center. Thank you. 
Okay, so for the flower center, what I did was I added a light color wash of yellow. The lightest yellow that we have in the 36 pan set um, that is a citrus burst. I'll then add a lighter orange yellow color to show shadow or make the center um, dome like. For that, you have to have darker on the edges um, or the outer circle and lighter in the center. I'll dry this, then use a thin brush. I think this is uh, the one that I'm using right now. It's zero. And I'll add lots of various shades of brown. I'll add this uh, between layers and in the end add dots of white chalk paint. Once I'm done, I'll use the leftover white chalk paint and add splatters of that onto the flower. Make sure the petals are completely dry before doing this. Otherwise, the white uh, chalk paint will react with the ink, uh, the, sorry, the pink color and turn pink. I like how this looks. The first one I colored looks... Um, very bad it turned out very bad i'll show it to you once i have uh, everything die cut because i'll be using that one too i don't want to waste it now i'll color the leaves the leaves are self-explanatory uh, i will add bamboo watercolor first then a bit of forest glades and the darkest color i'll add is evergreen also i have stamped the leaves in shabby shutters distress ink so that the color matches and we can achieve that uh, no line um, look the fully filled in stamped green leaves you see uh, the smaller ones those i'm going to color using just the evergreen watercolor and so that they appear darker than the larger ones i'll leave you with some music be right back Once I'm done coloring the leaves, I'll add splatters of evergreen watercolor on the images uh, for interest. Okay, so I have die cut all the images and look at the flower on the left. That was my very first try. Uh, see the difference between the both the flowers? Pause if you must, then come back. The right one is so much better, right? See, practice makes better. You learn what to do or not to do. Um, in this case, it was keeping the petal tips light and that is what made a huge difference. Now I'm going to arrange them on my card front. I'm keeping the card front blank, no splatters or color wash. I, I already have too much going on. Um, I will just alter a few leaves by uh, cutting off portions and reusing them differently. 
Once done, I'll add a sentiment and mount the card onto the base. And I'm done. I hope you liked my card and enjoyed the coloring session. I know most of you are pros and know I in water coloring, but this is for all those who struggle. I hope I made this a bit easier for you. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.